monitoring and controlling agriculture health and food safety practices is crucially important to the OECS. Member states have been engaged in a number of training workshops, policy developments, audits and laboratory improvements to implement safer practices within the agriculture and agritourism industries in the region. The first initiative established a National Agriculture Health and Food Safety Coordinating Council for Member States. Through the program, we were able as a ministry to develop a National Agriculture Health and Food Safety Policy for Grenada. That policy brought together a number of stakeholders in the area. The policy involves the identification of the roles of plant health, animal health, and food safety in the overall strategy for the development of the agriculture sector. We also identify the institutions and their mandates in that area. This was further supported by establishing the Agriculture Health and Food Safety Database for professionals and a work plan and platform for networking among OECS professionals. Draft bills for OECS plant health, animal health and food safety were completed to enable the free circulation of goods within the OECS. It is the first time I will say that we have this initiative to bring together not only the issues of food safety issues, but at the same time we discuss we discuss plant and animal health. So it is an integrated approach, which is a benefit of the process, and it helps us to look at the issue of food safety in an integrated manner. Quarantine training for professionals in member states from the University of the West Indies improved quarantine and surveillance services. Border control agency professionals were also educated on quarantine and surveillance. The quarantine officers, quarantine inspectors, uh, are the beneficiaries of those. Their competencies were vastly improved. They were able to do better inspections. They were more aware of international and regional standards as it relates to um, agricultural health and food safety. Um, as we know, quarantine is um, the first line of defense for any country. It is important to have a strong quarantine um, department and the project did seek to improve that department. Pest prioritization and pest risk analysis PRA training led to the establishment of PRA units in plant health laboratories in St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines and Dominica. Furniture and equipment were given to support enhancement operations of these PRA units. We were able to come up with a prioritized list um, of, of pests for us in St. Vincent and the Grenadines and it was again a very useful exercise and uh, we, we have now a tool that we can use to uh, conduct that kind of activity so that we, we can be uh, more scientific in the process that we use to address uh, our pest problems and to know which ones to give priority to. A pest surveillance manual for plant health technicians in the region was also produced and the region's capacity to achieve certification and accreditation in testing laboratories was developed through training and in-lab support. Member states were also prepared to engage in good agricultural practices. In Antigua, an assessment of such practices was done while training was given to farmers showing linkages between the industry and the hospitality sector. The Ministry of Tourism, my unit, the Agro-Tourism Department, in collaboration with the Ministry of Agriculture, carried out a gap analysis, as in a lowercase gap analysis of the readiness of farmers for good agricultural practices conformance. We chose 10 farmers that represented different levels of production and relationship with the food chain and they were exposed to a gap analysis, a, 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 a type of audit of the farm to determine how ready each of those types of farms were for GAP compliance and, GAP and ready to conform to good agricultural practices guidelines. The farmers have been trained, developed their profiles, and will next receive development assistance to their farms as implementation plans have already been set. 
This initiative will link them to the hospitality sector as part of the country's agro-tourism initiative. The training entailed us to do a gap added. What that um, really was about is educators, edu educators on the different principles involved in the GAP certification in terms of chemical storage, how you store um, the chemicals that you use, the proper way, um, the housing, um, the materials that you use in the housing. Um, it also um, taught us the importance of worker safety in terms of having the protect, um, protective clothing, um, showers after they finish, you know what I mean, spraying and stuff like that following the, um, the chemical um, warnings. Um, it also taught us to follow pre-harvest dates. It was very, very educational for me, right? Because some of the things I, were, I wasn't doing properly, taking shortcuts that I no longer do. The GAP certification framework, um, like, you know, I think that is basically the the crooks of the whole project in terms of the production of the commodities that are, to, that are to be to make its way to the market and so in terms of farmers ability to access markets other than the traditional markets um, this project would have served to raise a, awareness of what is required and to train farmers as well in um, adopting these these preferred standards of production.